And uh, the increased advantage for the bees to get over here from Ohio. And here we go. 12 rounds of boxing action from Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Pavlik on the right side, the champion. No, I don't think so, but you know, that was all part of the gamesmanship that's going on here, the referee controversy. Uh, there was an argument over who was coming in the ring first. Pavlik Stevens said, we're the champion, we come in last. It was a guy that Hopkins couldn't beat, and Pavlik destroyed after being knocked down. Coming back one twice. Yeah, two, two fights for each. Two fights for each. Let's go. In that first fight with Taylor, he hit Hopkins with a good right hand in the second round and slowed it for several rounds, but then Hopkins mugged him from round nine on. And Taylor really hasn't been quite the same since then, although winning the rematch. Try to do the same against Pavlik. Try to mug him. Now, Pavlik trying to leave right ah. there. The last 15 minutes. Wait a second. Oh, there's a left hand that got in on Pavlik. That's been the issue that we were talking about. Pavlik is a dominating force at 160. And he comes in weighing in at 169 for this. And uh, don't tell him what his weight was tonight. But he walks around at 175. The hill change like the chameleon throughout the fight. Showing flashes of speed early, but don't be surprised when you start seeing the shoulder movement. Oh, Hopkins got to him. He sure did. Found him to stay left hand. He sure did. You can tell Pavlik's reaction. He was a little bit of trouble, as we've seen that before. That hurt Jermaine Taylor, remember the second round. Yeah, he was down and two punches from being out in that one. Before coming back. No combination, left hand, right left, got in. We've been talking about the right hand over the jab. Pavlik's got to keep him off of the jab. And he's not throwing it. Well, Pavlik does need to fire a quick jab and bring it back because Hopkins is playing off that and he's charging him. You're going to see speed all the time. You're going to see a bull rush every now and then. Pavlik already starting to roll over the mouse on his right It's like he can't pull the trigger. Whether he has too much respect for Hopkins, which can be a problem. Or, or Hopkins is lined up defensively exactly where Hopkins is. Where Pavlik wants to play the jab and he's waiting. Hopkins is smart enough to take the fight to him when he can, and that's what he's doing. Estevez has got his hands full here. And Hopkins senses indecision and then he jumps up. Yeah. I think he's feeling also like I'm going to come for him before he comes for me. Well, he's getting off the, the punches early. Pavlik hasn't landed anything solid. Crowd reacting to this 43-year-old legend in the ring taking it to the 26-year-old. This is a veteran sensing that the upstart the fighter, the younger fighter is tight. Hopkins trainer, Lacey wanted him to slow down a little bit, feeling that maybe he's, he's coming out and trying to do a little bit too much. He didn't slow down the air. He worked the body, working his jab. He's out jabbing Pavlik. Pavlik. Had to pull the right hand back right there. Pavlik would have to win seven of the next nine rounds to win the fight. And that's uh, one thing they emphasized coming in, that they would set a pace that they liked and Hopkins did not. Bring your punches. Let's go. Let's go. Let's and, guys, and your observation on break. coming Get in, one. guys, is that Pavlik, I never thought he'd look bigger than Hopkins. Back and I have both of you. Do. Good luck to the body of our And he holds and slips back out. He steals 10 to 15 seconds of pure 
type of thing that Hopkins wanted to get Pavlik involved in. Everything but doing what he needs to do to win the fight. Got some blood on the face of Pavlik coming from his nose. Oh, I think that came from that right hand guy. Five it seconds. It, it shows you that Pavlik is just pawing Whoa, out there. Right hand the again. Chair. Another right hand. Get it around. Pavlik actually throwing a little bit of a jab with that counter right. Right hand from Hopkins. Wow. And then he hit him with an uppercut on the inside. That with a right hand over the top. After he went to the body, Pavlik pawing and missing and looking lost. Right. right hand bothers you for Pavlik. And then Hopkins goes underneath with a good hard left hook to the body. With right a right hand. hand. Look at the swelling on the right. With the left cheek of, of Pavlik. And those right hands that are coming in. It's just Freak. not the authority in his jab. There you go. That's pretty good confidence. And certainly Antonio Carver in uh, recent times as far as uh, he's only disrobing. Oh, he's hurting Pavlik now. With I bet he does the bolo punch. Pavlik's in trouble and Hopkins knows it. He knows it. 30 seconds. It's a long time left in round seven. Hopkins put the pressure on. Big right hand. What a show. My goodness. I'll bring the punch What fountain of youth has Hopkins hopped into lately? Five seconds. Hopkins is smart enough to know if he can't take him out now, he might take him out later. Maybe round 11. Who knows? There's a long way to go. And anything can turn, folks. But what a night so far for Bernard Hopkins. One of the best rounds I've ever seen him have. I would agree. I would agree 100%. That's right, left there by, by Hopkins. And Jack Lowe was, was telling Pavlik between the round that you're smothering yourself. You're, you're, coming, you're not throwing your jab, and then you're getting too close to him, you can't throw anything. You know, nobody, there were a lot of people, it would have been a stretch off the Calzaghi right, okay, fight top, top, top. to think that you'd get all of this from Bernard Hopkins. Uh, up to this point. And now he takes a point away from it. Well, that's, that's devastating. It's really kind of makes you wonder. Come on, Bernard, let's go. Wow. <laughs> Pavlik's going to need a KO, guys. Where the score is going. No question. He had no points to prove. Well, oh. big right hand there over the top of that non existent left. Look at the left hand also by Hopkins. 
Those are strong, hard punches. I don't think Pavlik thought in a million years he'd see this kind of speed. Hopkins is trying to pop it out. In round nine, get to 12 here at Boardwalk Hall. They said in the corner of Bernard Hopkins that he's never faced somebody with a jab before. Actually, he did in Jermaine Taylor, but what really has bothered Pavel is the mobility of Bernard Hopkins. The fact that he's used a lot of this ring. Good right right hand. Hand. And the hand speed on this run intelligence. Let's see if, the, if what Hopkins does here is in terms of putting the pressure on with the, in, in round nine. Yep, he's been uh, and he's overtrained and not, not, not completely fine. He's had that look since the opening bell. Little pet opening up under the eye of Pavlik, left eye. Okay, just... When you talk about a ghost, he is a ghost of the guy who beat Taylor uh, and the guy uh, who's been dominating opponents for the last couple of years. We just ate a left and let a combination. Break! Let's go step back, Monkey. He's being asked a lot of questions that he has no answers for. Everything that Hopkins can throw at him. And then the right hand that wasn't effective there, Hopkins comes back and scores some points. That's big, but it was a more accurate than one that we've seen in the wild for Pavlik. That right hand over the top right, step is pretty good, step too. Up, step Hopkins. Up. This is the kind of round that we, we talk about where it's kind of Hopkins kind of coasting through number 10, thinking about 11 or 12, I think. And he'll wait. And he's willing to, give the, willing to give the round away, but well, Pavlik isn't doing enough to take. I believe. Like you said, I believe Hopkins is in the fighting with the lead mode. Break. Hunkies. The other thing Hopkins has done effectively here is take the crowd out of the fight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, like a funeral. It's like a funeral. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's people are that's waiting for something to happen. He jumped on him early. He turned up the pace. And then Murray Pavlik intended to be the guy who was going to fight it at a high rate. Oh, Hopkins at right hand, another right hand. Yeah, it looks like Pavlik's gas. Looks even worse at 170 Another pounds. One. He continues. This is a message to him, whether he wants to hear it or not, or whether his people want to hear it or not. He's a middle of it. Go back down. Take a little time off. Go back down. Three. Gets off first again. And I can guarantee the press conference, the first words out of Five Bob Aaron's Bob Aaron's Three. mouth might be, well, might be not a good idea for the fight at one second. Looks like uh, he will climb that mountain. That's a controversial decision to joke. Oh, big right hand. Pavlik's in big trouble. But Hopkins closed the show in grand style. Pavlik, how is he still up? And he's barely up. Will that be icing on the cake or what, guys? What a storybook finale for the North Hopkins if that happened. Start wondering about any long term damage up for, for Pavlik. A man who had knocked out 30 of 36 opponents is being Let dominated. Him Let him go. Let him go. Hopkins normally cautious. He's he also think it was 1998. <laughs> 50 seconds left. This is utter domination of one man over another. Hopkins. 43 going on 23. A refreshing new angle. 35 seconds left. And boy, does this throw a monkey wrench into a lot of things in boxing right yeah, now. Let him out, Kevin. Let him out. Let him out. Let him get a good way if Hopkins could perform like this. Okay. Clean break. Almost a perfect fight. In and out. Show different looks, he mugged him, tied up when he had to. A great, great performance. It was a boxing lesson from the start to the finish. That's 
does that, coming down to the final bell. All that's left is to tally it up. Pretty bad blood at the end there. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. Too bad for this. Bernstein scores at 119, 106. Steve Weissel, 118, 108. Barbara Perez, 117, 109. As we turn the page to another chapter of a boxing legend from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The two-time champion and future Hall of Famer, Renan. The Executioner!